have you downloaded Rhino Linux? No! God, no! Have you installed Rhino Linux? No! God, no! Have you ever played around with it? Now that's scary! This video will show you how to download and install Rhino Linux on VMware and get you started with the first few impressions that we have for Rhino Linux. So let's get started. So welcome friends. Let us start by googling for the Rhino Linux and as you can see you will get a download section on the results page which will take you to the download Reno Linux page and all you do is select the generic ISO option for the 64-bit. You will be provided with a download link which will allow you to start the download as shown in the top right of the screen. Once done all you do is copy the ISO to your desktop. Once copied to the desktop, just right click for properties and you should be able to see that we've downloaded a .iso file, the disk image of the Rhino Linux. And now, we will be launching the VMware Workstation Player, which we downloaded in our last video to install our Rhino Linux. And when, it, when the virtual machine wizard opens up, it will prompt you for the ISO file. Just follow the instructions on the dialog and go through the next buttons. It's as simple as that. Now when we we just choose the guest operating systems as Linux and an Ubuntu 64-bit which will make things way simpler for us and once done we will also rename the virtual machine to Rhino as we will be loading other operating systems on this VMware player it will be easier to identify once written, we will be now looking at allocating some memory or disk, disk capacity and go to finish. Now play the virtual machine and watch Reno Linux load into the system or should I say boot into the system. To control this virtual machine, you need to press some keys on your keyboard for me it looks like it's control g and to go back to my computer it will be uh, whatever it just showed so let's wait for rhino to boot into what looks like an absolutely beautiful interface with a very nice screen saver and a few more other options That That's was easy. easy. So let us start off by launching the VMware Workstation Player, wherein we just installed the Linux Rhino, and select that and click on Play Virtual Machine. Alrighty. Here we are in the Linux Rhino desktop as soon as we logged into VMware. This one has this beautiful screensaver as we see. And once I go to the once I go to the other appliances over here, like the audio mixer and the notification icon, they seem to be enabled a battery indication, Bluetooth disabled by default, and an install, Rhino, uh, install Rhino Linux with a Calamaris system installer, which could install 
Linux natively on your machine. So be careful when you use this. We can try and see if it walks us through a few steps to decide whether this thing actually works. Oh, that's a few clicks and nothing much happened. Okay, so I can see the installer here. I'll choose American English. I'll choose Asia, where I am. And, uh, oh, it gives you a choice of keyboards also, which is a very good thing, uh, given the Colmac uh, layout, which could actually help you with uh, fa typing fast. This feature is disabled by default on Windows. as It's not supported. But Mac and uh, this Linux seems to support it. Uh, which is a good idea let's go to the next step with the partitions the users etc i'm sure it will be smooth gliding uh, once we are uh, done so let me go ahead and cancel the installation process for right now and have a look at the dock on the left which has a search bar and an application grid where i can see a lot of applications on the system which is good to be hidden under a grid this also has a image viewer let me see if that works yeah this has got a, it's got an image viewer and you can always open some image and view it once again it also has a firefox browser which could open up with a quick launch from the taskbar this it also prompts you for an update okay that's good and then you have a file manager which shows uh, the organization of files in this system it seems to be using the tuner uh, another file system so let me go to the command prompt uh, and i executed a few commands although it says it does claim that it has a XFC desktop. The best way to find out is to use this command right here. And this is the output it would give you. A Unicorn XFC desktop. And if you want to see what kernel resides on this, on, on which this Rhino was built on, you just use the command uname space hyphen R and you get this kernel version which is running on the system. This uname uh, space hyphen A gives you a list of details. Uh, should I say a lot of details about what, about the Linux Reno system that has been running over here. So the command prompt looks good. It's translucent. It's black and we can always change the uh, background to something that is uh, on the transparent background and I'll use a system font, all defaults and the colors that are seen as text and the background color that I would be appealing to me could be white uh, with a black font and let's see if your system is responsive on this yeah it is kind of responsive and it's got colored fonts which is very good uh, makes for easy readability and writability coming to the editor that it has to offer is a vs codium and all i do is start a new file and it actually give, should give me some options to let me see um, it should give me some options to choose the language in which I would like to write an application. So I'll choose something like uh, a Java program and uh, I'll start off with some import statements. I'll say import java.io dot star and i'll emit the semicolon 
and see if it flags an error it's not there yet so i'm thinking this id needs some intelligent decision making uh, moving forward and uh, that could be of a lot of use uh, i've already written a small program over here so all i'll do is go back to the terminal and uh, look at um, the desktop and list all the files here so that's working calamaris desktop hello dot bash and i'll say ls space hyphen l and i should be getting the hello dot bash without an execute permission so let me go ahead and add that uh, let's see if your ch mod works uh, and i'll give a user permission to execute hello dot bash uh, let me uh, re-execute the command and here we are we saw the execute permission so does that mean it's going to run let's see oh it has got an auto complete with the tab enabled by default which is good and hello rhino is all i see which is a very good thing so i can execute some bash programs right away and um, overall it looks like a really cool looking screensaver and uh, good to go linux distro or a flavor uh, should i say when um, for any beginner uh, to start off with this looks really cool the exciting thing about this rhino linux distribution is that it will have it is a rolling distribution unlike uh, ubuntu or something like that which is already mature and would only look for stabilization and bug fixes etc in their uh, subsequent releases but rhino linux with its rolling distribution could ensure uh, that there could be some exciting features coming up so just stay tuned to all this and uh, it will be really interesting to see how rhino linux progresses from here onwards uh, there is also a system upgrade button which i'm sure it will tell you ab about updating the rhino linux and uh, although you can use the uh, app get upgrade or update commands from the command line so let me see if it has a apt get or a, or some other let me just copy hello program uh and see if uh, any such things are uh, let me let me just check that out first and uh, let me show you hello dash rhino dot bash let me copy it into that and uh, it's done so let me see if there's a web editor there isn't one so let me install pack install um with the help let me see how an installation is done okay it look, looks like it's not uh, installed here so let me go to rhino dash package which is its package manager or so it claims uh, which will also tell me about how i'm supposed to use this when i don't give an option uh, let's see the install uh, actually installs the package let me go ahead and do that uh, let me write install the web editor and there it goes to packstall and then it will ask me for some options I didn't know there were so many options available. So what I'll do is I'll just go with option zero for right now and see what it has to throw in front of me. And uh, it says it's going to install it from the apt package manager. So I'll check. I'll give a yes. And Nala is already running on another instance. 
this needs to be probed and i need to see why this is such a bad deal and uh, here we when we come back to let me let me try the other way of uh, doing the women's village let me try some other options like uh, vim apt and vim packstall or uh, probably a vim tiny a ruby neo vim uh, or a vim gui common Uh, option 46 let me try one of these at random which will probably help me uh, let me put a vim puppet and see what it does i'll go to package number 60 and uh, i'll say yes again and let's see this i think this update is kind of interfering with this or i don't know what is going on uh, I need to debug this. So here we are after installing the after the system upgrade was actually stopped or the button was closed i decided to install vim again using rhino package and this time let me choose the process once again and i'll get to see uh right so it looks like the system upgrade was interrupting this whole process so the dpk d package is running the debian package Installing packages, configuring lib6, restart services without asking. Say no. I'll choose a no for that. And then I'll say services to restart for the GNU library. Say OK and then it's running dpkg again generating locales this might take a while all right let me see that how much time it takes and uh, once we are done we could end up uh, probably with a few minutes to go and i'll just say all right it says successfully finished successfully so let me try vim test dot bash and let's see what it opens for me there you go there is an editor and i will be using the colon wq to quit and i already created a file on it so it looks uh, so far so good for whatever um, it has to offer and the networks again you have options to disconnect with vpn connection adding a vpn connection etc is probably a good deal to have and um, now i'll be looking for a search bar about a, a screen saver where i can get to okay let me go to desktop settings which will provide a good wallpaper for me uh don't know about you folks but i think this one wallpaper uh, is kind of surreal for me and it looks so good that i decided to share this with you guys and i hope even you like it so I think that's all we are going to have on the first impressions video. Do let me know in the comment section as to what you thought about all this and whether you're going to download uh, Rhino Linux for your own uh, machine and try it or try it out uh, with a VMware as we've just done.
let me know and thank you very much for watching all this have a good day phew so at last we managed to download and install rhino linux and as you can see it's not so difficult to get started on linux the nice thing about the rhino distribution is that we can look forward to some exciting features moving forward although the first impressions look good we hope that it has more to offer in the days to come stay tuned for more videos thank you if you like this video please click below to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications of new videos. Thank you.